Hi, Bruce from Safari, and today we're showing the first three products in our Starship series, and this is going to be uh, the Starlight controller that you see here. It's about 60 millimeters wide. It's in a beautiful uh, blue anodized uh, billet machine case, and it will switch up to eight LEDs. Uh, four positive, four negatively switched, so it doesn't matter whether you've got uh, uh, two different types of LEDs that uh, dim on the positive or the negative, uh, this can do both, plus it'll also do an RGBW light where you can select any color that you like and you can control it. Um, before I show you the functionality on that, let's just have a look at the LED that we're showing you today. And here's another close-up of it. It's in a black uh, polyurethane material. Yes, we've got the 3M on the back. Uh, it's very, very, very nicely built, very um, high-end. That's a one meter there. A total IP68, it can be sitting anywhere in the rain. And uh, it's got this uh, slight uh, gray color on the inside, but once you see it light up, the light's coming through that. We don't want to see the little LEDs. Now, go back to our switches. Here's the rubberized switch, and the, this can have the custom engraved uh, names on it. You would have seen this on a Ram 350 that we did recently, and uh, it's backlit. Once we engrave here, you can read it, uh, read the uh, names beautifully. And it's uh, a CAN based switch, so it's got power and two wire CAN on the back. So, six button switch, um, 18 LEDs there that come on, and just uh, two. Uh, can wires on the back, very, very robust. And that can wire is wired into here, but it's also Bluetooth. So in here is an antenna. There's the board that we have in there, and there's the Bluetooth antenna that we have. And this switch here is only a Bluetooth switch. So on the back, I've just got, uh, in this case, red and green, positive and negative, um, and it's uh, only Bluetooth. This can also be custom engraved. Now the board in there is this board here, not quite that simple. The chip in here is a European chip and it's 802.15.4 compliant for thread and matter, which are the new standards emerging for any smartphone to uh, switch. So we're not doing the smartphone app yet because you'll end up just doing it with your um, Apple HomeKit or uh, Google Home uh, app. And our concept here is to use just stock standard apps to uh, switch in the future. So let's do the demonstration now. So I turn that light on over there on that button. There's the LED lit up. You can see it's quite bright. You don't see any little LED dots on it. And uh, we can dim that. So if I just hold this down, you can see it's dimming. It doesn't look so good on the phone and the light's back there. And uh, let's now turn that off on this switch. So if I press this, that turns it off. And if I press it again, it comes back on. So that's using the Bluetooth switch. Um, now let's do the dual color. So to do the dual color, the same switch, uh, this is how we have it programmed. You don't have to have it this way, but I rather like it. The same switch by pressing it twice, then we suddenly change to uh, blue. In this case is the color we've selected, but you can select any color of the rainbow by holding these buttons down here. All the colors will ro rotate through when you're provisioning and you just stop at the color you want. So it could be amber, it could be blue, it could be salmon. So the second switch here, if I turn that one off, I've got the second one here on red at the moment. So on an RGBW light, that could be the second color or you can simply put it on a, a second switch if you wish. And uh, you could have the third switch on here on a combination of other colors as well if you wish. So, uh, the RGBW light uh, will normally do the uh, white that you can see there, and then the alternative colors can be on the same switch double press or on a different switch. It means that you can actually get away now with four switches only, which is this one here, and you can have the dual color. This will actually switch um, eight LED colors on a four button switch. Now we've got one other way that we can also switch that and that's with our touch display and I'm just going to plug that in now and demonstrate that. Now we've done the demo with the Bluetooth unit and with the keypad over there and now this is our touch display. This touch display here will show uh, the battery for our CAN based batteries. It'll show the battery, uh, it'll show Scotty, the Scotty power going out and now it'll turn the lights on and off. So you can select the light on the front here and you just do that. I'm doing all this one hand. You just do that by swiping the screen through so we can have that light 
and then you can rotate it, uh, or we can have it that you touch it, but at the moment in our programming, we've just done that. We can change the color, I haven't programmed that yet, but easy to do, and then we can actually have individual colors that you can see here coming in. Uh, so we can lock that in, and then we can just to turn the light on and off, it can be just this little click after you select the light, and we can do that for up to 32 <laughs> lights on this display. We can have up to four, points on the display here that we touch and then turn on and off for the lights. And what you'll notice is the keypad in the back is uh, also turning on and off, and that way the left hand knows what the right hand's doing. So uh, this would be a very, very nice setup so that you can have one display uh, can see everything. I'd have that inside the vehicle, and I'd have this in the back. If you're doing a canopy, I'd have this in the back of the canopy. This is in the front, so you can turn everything on and off from the front of the vehicle, but you can also do everything on and off uh, from uh, the side. And then the Bluetooth is in the rooftop tent. And then if you've got a caravan, it's, uh, it's a similar story. The switching can all be in the caravan. You can actually have, this can actually be wired in rather than Bluetooth, but you can have Bluetooth at the back near the uh, near the ensuite uh, or up near the bed. You can have two of the Bluetooth ones near the bed. And uh, you can have, uh, you can use this one if you wish on the outside in the kitchen area. Um, and uh, you, we've got a combination here of uh, four different ways to switch. And I've got to say, how good's that?